I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. My big brother, he was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. This is Himuro Mansion. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist. And a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. The forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Hopefully they are. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fatal Frame. Go ahead and come over here and take a picture of this ghost. There we go, child behind. Now in the echelons of survival horror, to me, there's three game series that reign supreme. This is my triumvirate, essentially. Resident Evil, obviously, I mean, it's a series I've done the most LPs on. Which delves into human experimentation, viral weaponry, and monsters. And it's probably the most plausible of the three because the further technology advances, the more likely a zombie apocalypse can occur. Second would be Silent Hill, which I've yet to do an LP on. I really do need to change that. Which delves into psychological horror. Manifestations of the human psyche, like abuse, guilt, suffering. All that. And then finally you have Fatal Frame. Which delves into the supernatural aspect of horror. The Eastern aspect of horror. Now don't get me wrong, Western culture ghosts, yeah, they're scary, but they're not threatening, if that makes any sense. Yeah, they could throw some stuff at you, give you a chill when you enter a room, or dart around on the corner of your eye. But when it comes to Japanese ghosts, like Onryo, Yokai, Oni. They can straight up murder you. I think the proper term is spirited away where essentially you disappear. Nobody could find out where you went, but in reality, your soul is trapped in purgatory for all eternity to suffer. That's some scary shite. <laughs> that is some very scary shite. Well, we got a... The ghost here. The angry man. So 
Thing is, whenever you hear a heartbeat, it means a ghost is nearby. This notebook. It's Mr. Takamine's. was Mr. Takamine, so he did come here. All right, we got our first ghost, so we're going to need the camera for this. Charge up that meter, wait for him to attack. There we go. 100 damage. Not bad. You got to build up those points, too. 120, nice. Ah, uh, it's going for that urban legend. I mean, it's a good way to explain the reasoning for the camera. It was believed that, like, back then, whenever you took a picture of somebody, you're actually capturing, like, an image of the soul. However, if you take a picture of somebody in the afterlife, you could actually trap their spirit inside the photo itself. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. I mean, it's a good way to explain the camera in this game. And the door just closed. Wonderful. The strangling ritual first night.
Hey, hey, it's in color now. No longer in black and white. Although I prefer black and white. Add more, you know, it adds more ambiance to the horror. Like that gritty black and white feeling just makes it a little more scarier. There's just something on the floor. Ah, herbal medicine. More herbs. No matter what game I play, I can't escape the dank. Oh, this ghost is lucky I ain't got the camera. You can't get that ghost unless you're in New Game Plus. But if we come back here, I believe, yep. There's a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Research notes. September 12th, now there's another rope. And another rope. And another rope. The main theme about this game is ropes. And side note, I do know the voice acting is a little bit off. It gets better in later games, especially Fatal Frame 2, which is the best one. And luckily, I have a complete collection of Fatal Frame, much like Resident Evil. Though, I don't have a complete collection of Silent Hill. I'm missing the second game. The best one, ironically. weird kimono girl picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor my mom's old camera my brother had this with him I found a new note inside Mayfew's notebook side note I'm not good at Japanese so I'm going to probably be butchering a couple of these names here Himeno Mansion investigation the mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with the Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Ooh, spirited away. Because of the incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. Then how the hell did you find it? September 24th. Ooh, eight more days and Raccoon City blows up. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to the mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case anything happens to me. I got to find Mr. Takamini and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. Oh, I'm willing to say it's far too late. Yeah, like I said, theme of the game, ropes. And there's a bloody hand print on the wall. That would immediately raise some alarm bells for me. Bro's shadow. I think there should be a... This is not over here. Alarm clock. Girl, go down the stairs. Thank you. Uh, 
Not there. That's the way we entered. Samurai armor. There it is. Lion mask on the chest drawer. That looks more like a dragon than a lion, but all right. More herb. Need to come down here. Should be something in here too. Ah, more film. Film is like your ammo in this game. And there's better versions of film too. I think the best film is the, it's the yellow one, but we need to get that later. Especially if we're, we're going to fight the final boss. Should be. I guess he's not down there. Probably missed him, but all right. Do I actually have to check the door to get him to spawn? We'll see. Yep, there he is. The hallway man. Yeah, there's like these special ghosts you gotta take pictures of every once in a while. Ah, I missed him. Alright. Weird Samara knockoff. I think her name was Satoko in Japanese. The girl from the ring. No folding screen in the photo. Door appears where the screen should be. I didn't need to take a photo to figure that out. What was a... <laughs> What was the point of taking a picture of that? Just like in the photo. Oh my god. Clearly the ghost went that way. There has to be a door. It's not really a ghost, it's a shadow. Oh, can't find the key. And down this hallway. I don't think we can open the... No, we can't. There's going to be a ghost in there, though. More herb. I don't care about the ornaments. Pick up the thing up there. Thank you. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in the Humano Mountain located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police is investigating the case as both a murder and accident. The body has not been identified, but it is believed that to be a man around the age of 30. 
The police are also taking into consideration the fact that the bo that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same location 15 years ago. Yeah, that's a serial killer. I forget what the name of it was. I think it was like called the Reprieval Period. Take a picture of him. But when it comes to like serial killers, they always like, after they commit a murder, they go into like what is referred to as a Reprieval Period. Where their bloodlust is satiated for the time being. For how long it's satiated, it determines on the killer himself. Like it could take 15 years. Months, weeks, days, or even an hour. Kind of interesting to get into. Oh, that was so a picture. Uh, we got the tape recorder. So let me see. How do we? There we go. Items. Oh, wait, tape number one. September 9th, 5 40 p.m. The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. Hmm. I mean, next time, take their advice and go. Don't go there. And grab that herbal medicine there. Really? Okay. Fine, I'll get the ghost over here. This one's easier. Woman in kimono. All right, fine. I'll help you. One shot. Yeah. The camera began to glow with a mystical power. The camera seal. Five power ups. Uh, yeah, I already know about this. We need spirit stones for that. 
And we got another tape. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. And a book is this guy writing? Let's see some flashing over here. Eh, I guess not. I can feel something come from the mirror stand. Hey, there's the lion mask. Looks more like a dragon mask, but all right. We got to run all the way back there. And I hate it when the music cuts out like that. Oh, hey, there's something. Type 37 film. Eh, much better film than the one we got. Consider blue film like our pistol ammo and... Oh, great, there's a ghost. And green film is like our shotgun ammo. Come on. I'm I'm digging the one shots here. I'm loving this. <laughs> Another thing I do love is you actually have to physically open the doors. You have to press a button to open the door up. Some reflecting light. Ah, there's the mirror. And it got real quiet again. Man in closet. Okay. Thought I was gonna pull a grudge there. Flash the light back, and there's like a face staring at us. Oh well. Oh, you mother. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Use the mirror. It's that person I just saw. <gasps> the ropes. Editor's photo. You see a faint shadow of ropes in the man's neck, arms, and legs. 
And we got a key. And we got another ghost. Uh, great. I don't even know where he's at, so let's run all the way back here. There he is. Ooh. Where'd you go now? Oh, you're much more of a pain in the ass, aren't you? There we go. There's something shiny where the ghost once stood. Ah, there's our first spirit stone. Enhances the camera's power and enables auxiliary functions. Yeah, we gotta save those for later. And since we got the key, we have to go back upstairs. Yeah, at this point, I'd say, screw it, I'm out of here. You're stupid enough to go to the mansion. Yeah, you deserve to die. <laughs> Especially after the freaking locals tell you, yeah, don't go there. I think we got, yep, some right here. There's an old urn in front of the, no, that's not what I'm referring to. There's something under, yeah, research scrap. Secret rituals of the Hemero family. Hey, I found a book about the rituals. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through generations in the Hemero family. Most of them are lost. The only thing we have left now are some documents and records, these rituals as legends. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuro family members are dead. And those who were close to the family have kept quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular performed on December 13th is shrouded in mystery. People who lived near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day. And even now it is considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that day. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual. But the truth remains unknown. I think there's some more stuff we could grab around here. Yep, some right here. More herb. Hmm. Nothing in there. Believe we can actually come out through here. Well, there's a ghost on the window that disappeared. Hmm. Honestly, this is a wasted opportunity for a jump scare. You see the ghost in the window, it's clearly in this room. Look down in it, you don't see anything. There's a bookshelf though. Kind of missed opportunity there. I believe there should be a room somewhere around here that we can... Yep. Audio tape in front of the doll. Ooh, a red tape.
September 10th, 1020 AM. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Hmm. Same girl in the white kimono we encountered earlier. Red notebook scrap. August 20th. It seems that the folk... To Folklorist named Ruzo Mane I don't even know how to pronounce that fucking name was studying about the uh, various rituals passed down at Himuro Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in a library somewhere. August 30th. Still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Agato from the editing department to do the search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it though. Got a hidden crawl space over there. But I'm going to end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. We finally hit a save point. If you enjoyed the series so far, like and subscribe. And as always, have a good day because we still got a lot more of this game to do.